Hello, this is Dare Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight. Today we are going to discuss how to change a mod. Most of these mods we've discussed one time or another, and in the future most of the mods I'm hoping will be good overall. But there might be one or two things that bother us about any particular mod. I'm looking at this Dodge Ram currently. Uh, because one thing about this RAM, well, a couple things about this RAM, really bug me. If I could get a hold of Oxtar, who was the mod creator, I would present to him what I would like to see changed, in hopes that he would change it. However, I don't know Oxtar, and I don't have any way of contacting Oxtar. Perhaps if he watches this video, Oxtar, if you're watching this video, please contact me. I, I would love to discuss your mods. Um, and ways to make your mods perhaps a little bit more realistic, or the reasons why you chose to do something. But, in the interim, I'm going to show you how to make edits to a mod to make it work with your game. Now, the first thing that that we've probably, that you've noticed, and I've certainly noticed about the Dodge Ram, is the starting. When this starts up, it starts and then stalls. Now, I'd, uh, if I was a farmer, I wouldn't stand for this. I wouldn't stand for my truck to stall every time I went to start it up. That would be a problem for me. And I would seek to fix that. So that's one thing we have to fix. The other thing that we need to fix, for sure, is when we go to, to the mods, this is a $65,000 truck. Well, I know I can go down to my local Dodge dealer and get a truck spec similar, if not better, than this Dodge and pay a lot less than $65,500. So I want to change that as well. The other thing is all of this German in here, it's great, but I don't understand it. So I'm going to consider whether I want to change that. Also, this is not a tractor. This is a truck. I want it to be in that location. I want, it, I want it to sit in a separate area called trucks if I can do that. If I can't, we'll leave it in, in tractors. So those are the, the first things that we're going to look to change. I'm going to say this now and I'm going to say it again multiple times. Making these changes is for your use only. Oxtar owns the rights to this mod, as best as you can own a right to a mod. Do not take this mod, change it, and put it out there as your own without attribution back to Oxtar. Oxtar did the work originally, and it should always be attributed back to Oxtar. But I want to show you how to make these minor changes so that you can make these mods fit better within your game. So here we are at the desktop, and here is Dodge Ram Full. This is the zip file containing all of the work done by Oxtar. And we need to access this file in order to make some changes. Now, the initial thought that I had, and I actually have some raw video of me screwing this up royally, is to uncompress this. So that actually leads to a very important statement. Back up the file before you make the changes. Also, if you already own the implement, sell it and then make the changes. So you're going to cause problems if you already own it and then you go and make changes. So I've got the Dodge Ram. Instead of uncompressing it, I'm just going to access the compressed folder. You'll notice up here this folder icon has a zipper on it. I'm actually in the compressed folder and the ratio is telling me the compression levels. So from this folder I want a few things. I want this car start. This is that annoying start, stall, funky noise start. So I'm going to copy this and paste it to my desktop. I also want the Dodge Ram 1 XML. I'm going to copy this and put it on my desktop as well. 
And finally, I want the mod desk XML. I'm going to copy this and put this also on my desktop. We're just going to move this over here for right now. First thing, that car start noise. We know it, we don't like it. Oxtar, if you're watching, fix it please. Or give us a reason why. In any case, I'm going to use Audacity. I'm going to open up my Audacity. and I'm going to open on my desktop the car start wave. I'm going to use the copying method in Audacity. So here is the visual of the audio trail. We have the initial start, the stall, followed by strange noises, and then the final start. All I want is the final start. So I'm going to click and hold and drag. I'm going to select everything I want to remove. I will then click the cut. Now I just have this small little bit and I'm going to play it. This will be loud because I don't have an audio adjuster yet. But let's go ahead and start the car. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to export this. Now I could export it back in the car start, but I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm going to maintain the integrity of Oxstar's original mod. So I'm going to export this as car start one and save it. I'm not going to fill out metadata because there's no need to. So I don't need Audacity anymore. Now I need to make a change to the Dodge Ram 1. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to edit with Notepad++. Notepad++ is a freeware. Link is in the description. It's a very simple editing tool but a very powerful editing tool. And we're going to make some changes. But first, let's take a look at what we see in front of us. There's a lot of data here. One thing, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight it now, because I know you can't see my cursor the way this notepad works. But this torque setting for the last torque setting, this was changed by Oxtar to increase the speed of the vehicle. If you remember, my common complaint with the original version was that its top speed was so low. What Oxstar did is he came in here and he changed the RPM settings to make them much higher. That higher RPM setting increased the speed of the vehicle. Acceleration speeds and deceleration speeds are also contained within this XML. Now I happen to like the acceleration speed of the RAM so I'm not going to change it. Fuel capacity is here. Now that I know that the drums in the back of the RAM are included in that fuel capacity, I'm not going to change that. Originally I would have changed it to match the true Dodge RAM. But because of the drums in the back, we're not going to change that. What we are going to look at is the motor start sound part. Now the motor start sound calls a file. It calls the car start dot wave with a pitch offset and a volume. Now I need to change this. There are two ways to do this. One is just to change this bit of XML. This is something done as what we refer to in the industry as a hack. And I say in the industry because I do this for a living. Instead, I'm going to comment this file. I'm going to put an exclamation point and two dashes. You'll notice everything turns green below here. And if I come to the end and I insert my two dashes again, I've only commented out that one line. So I'm telling the XML reader, skip this line. I'm then going to copy my commented line. And I'm going to paste it below. And I'm going to remove the commenting values. So I've re-enabled that line. The difference is I'm going to change my file call. I'm going to call car start one. But I'm not done yet. I want to add in another comment. And this is from my own understanding. So I'm going to put my name, changed call file to shorter 
start wave. Now this is so that if I were ever to mix up my XML, I would be able to see the original XML from Oxtar and know what I did. Now we've completed that, I'm going to save that bit of XML. Now we're not done yet. I also want to make a change to the mod description. So I'm going to right click and edit with Notepad++. Now remember we don't like that starting price. That price is just too high. We're going to cut it about in half to 35. Machine type needs to say stay as tractors. I did play with this and it caused part of my problem. I cannot change that. Now there are a couple of other, th there's one other thing I want to look at. The store items, now notice we have an EN and a DE and they're actually identical to each other. This is supposed to be the English description, this is the German description. Now in either case, there's a little bit of, of data here. And what I want to do is I want to come in right after the ESP and I want to put information in here. I want to say startup and price edit and I'm going to reproduce that here and I'm only doing this because if I forget and I send this to anybody I don't want anybody to think that this was done by Oxtar. I want them to know that I did it but this is originally Oxtar's file. So now that I have done that I could convert the English to English. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But I'm going to go ahead and save this mod description file and close Notepad++. Now let's go back to our zipped up file here. Remember we're still looking at just the zip. We haven't extracted this at all. What I want to do is I want to take these three files and I want to put them into the zip file. Windows makes this very easy. I can just drag these in, drop them. I'm going to replace Dodge RAM 1. I'm going to replace Mod Desk. So it's compressing it and loading it in for me. So now I've got my information all loaded in. When I close this, here's my Dodge RAM. There's the old Dodge RAM. I'm going to take this and put it in here and I'm going to move and replace. I do have another backup stored elsewhere so if this doesn't work I can get it back. So now we're going to go into the game and see if everything and here we are back in Hagenstadt and here's our moment of truth. Did our RAM make it? Let's see if we can find it. There it is. So notice the new price. That is the price we put in there. We click on it. At the bottom of the description there's the information that we put in so that we don't forget that we were the one who made an edit to this. Let's go ahead and buy this and tab to it. And look at that. It starts up right off the bat. We have a beautiful running dodge almost immediately. Exactly what I would expect. I've solved my biggest complaints. I changed that startup and I changed the price. There are a couple other things that I could change. When you turn the lights on in the Dodge and you get out, the lights stay on. That value is actually in the Dodge RAM 1 XML down towards the very bottom. There's a value that's currently set to true. If I were to change that value to false, the lights would turn off when I get out. There's also a few other things that could be changed. Particle effects that are not in the right place. And the truck is a little bit bouncy. But these are all minor things. See, we're flying now. These are all minor things that I can live with as is. The point of this whole video was I had two problems I wanted to fix. I didn't like the price and I really didn't like that engine startup. I fixed both of those. But this is still Oxtar's mod. This is not my mod. I have changed his mod to fit what I need, but I will not put this out for anybody else to download. I would prefer Oxtar to make the fix. He owns the mod, it is his. 
Same should be true for anyone else who follows the, this video instructions. The mod is not yours. The mod is the original mod creators. If you want to re-release it, at, put attribution to the original mod creator. I have left Oxstar in here. It will always remain there. If this was ever to be released by me, it would be by Oxstar with minor edits by Der Tebers. I will not accept any full attribution, and you shouldn't either. So if you found this video helpful, please like this video. Leave your comments below if you have any comments. Always remember, if you're editing someone else's mod, it is their mod, not your mod. You're just adapting it to fit your game. So until next time, this has been Dare Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mon Mod Edit Spotlight.